Gah! You disgrace me for the last time, Steel Samurai! The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood! The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon. For it will be the last moon you ever see! See you in hell, evil magistrate! Whoa! Rah! The warrior's swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen. But who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's ep exciting episode. The Dark Messenger returns! Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, I managed to uh, bring um, bring Mia's killer, Red White, to justice. And to top it off, I got my I inherited the law office from Faye, and I now got myself a new partner in the form of Maya Faye. So, save for the fact that Mia's dead and all. Everything turned out pretty well for me in the end, I gotta say. So we're now starting. Uh, we're now starting episode three, Turnabout Samurai, and we're gonna see what kind of crazy shenanigans we're gonna get into this time. October fourteenth, five thirty-one p.m. Wright and Co. Law Offices. That rocked. See you in hell, evil magistrate! Whoa! Stop waving that broom around! Oh, Nick! I didn't know you were here! Of course I'm here! What was that surreal show you were watching? What?! Nick! You mean, you don't know the Steel Samurai?! He's only the most popular TV hero for young people! Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old? Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17. See? I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. I'm older than both of you. Therefore, I claim seniority in this office. Then watch it with me. He's really cool. And it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Gramps! Well, the Steel Samurai's over. Guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the Wright and Co. law offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. October 16th, 1814 a.m. Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Ring, ring. Hello? This is Phoenix. D -d -d Nick! Maya? What? It's still early. It's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. No! I mean he actually did it! In real life! He skewered a villain with his Samurai Spear! I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office, quick! Please, Nick! I understand perfectly what she's talking about. The Steel Samurai got to skewer in. IRL. What's so complicated about that? October 16th, 1922 AM. Ryan Co. Law Offices. Maya's here. Watching the television. 
Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. I like how Neo Old is just basically New Old. It's just... What a dumb name. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The Steel Samurai, the Steel Spear, the Samurai Spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, no, no. It's a nightmare. The Steel Samurai is over. The world is over. I'm sure you can find something else to watch. Yes. Ranko Law Offices. What? Nick! It's the Steel Samurai! Why are they calling your phone? We have an office phone, right? What? Yes. Yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick. Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention. So what? So, I decide this will be our first case. Okay, but I'm pretty sure he's not going anywhere. First, I gotta make sure Charlie's been watered. Mia's favorite pod plant. Maya's been watering it so much lately, it looks a little... swollen. She's either trying to make it grow, or she's perfecting her water torture technique. I think she's trying to make it grow. It's a nice day outside. The hotel across the way is always full these days. There's the bellboy, happily cleaning the room. A, po a poster of an old movie that Mia liked. I was thinking I should go see it myself. Then I realized the poster doesn't actually say the title of the movie. Wouldn't it be depressing if the reason that the hotel is full these days was actually because of the murder that took place in the last episode? It would basically have proven the bellboy right. It would make me lose my faith in humanity if this was an accurate representation of real life humanity, and well, maybe it is to an extent. Mia's desk. Actually, it's my desk now. Sitting here always makes me feel a like a professional. Good on you. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is the thought I have to read all these now. Better get cracking. You don't have to keep puffing your cheeks at me, Maya. I know, well, I know. We're gonna get down there eventually. But first, let me show you my badge. What about this? You like showing that off, don't you, Nick? You bet your ass I do. My poor, poor ego. Your ego is too weak. Get on my level. Little, little remarks like that don't even phase me. What to do? Well, what should we do? What should we, what should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai. Does she want to investigate this case or just do some sightseeing, I wonder? My money's on sightseeing. So here's something to keep in mind from th from this episode onwards. If you need a reminder of what you need to do, you can always just go to uh, this office and just uh, talk to Maya, and then just select the what to do option, and then she'll basically tell you the general objective that you should be trying to strive for during the investigation segments. Just thought I'd let you guys know that, in case you ever get stuck if you play this yourselves. Any ideas? Same with this option too, really. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. No, we just don't have enough information. All right, let's get going. Detention center, here we come. October 16th, detention center, visitor's room. You look like a lion. 
Can I pet your mane? What's wrong, Maya? It's him. In the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client. That's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it. Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. All that based on and off of what? His looks. Whoa, whoa. What are you saying? Um. Yes? Something wrong? N no. No. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? Disappointed? Oh no. Oh no. Nice handkerchief, by the way. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. Uh. Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. It really doesn't take much to sway your opinion on people, does it? Yeah. He didn't do it. Fast, uh, rewind back a full minute later. He did it. He killed at least once, maybe twice. You're such a flip-flop. Hey, how you doing? This guard monitors the visitor's room. He seems frozen in awe of Mr. O of Will Powers. I probably would be too if I was in the same room as Will. Smile for the camera. Uh, here, look at my badge. Um, here. I... I see. Let me guess. This guy wasn't a top student in improv class. Well, are you? Or were you? I don't think so. What happened? Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. Yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday, actually. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 in the afternoon. But when 5 came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumbled heap near the set. Yep, he looks dead. Definitely dead. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer. Dead! He had been expertly skewered with the Samurai Spear. Samurai Spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I... that the Steel Samurai uses as a weapon. Okay, tell us more about the Steel Samurai. Maybe you could explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is. Nick! How could you say such a thing? I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. You grew up in the fucking mountains. Don't even get me started. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's alright, really. Steel Samurai is a lead character in a popular kids' show. He walks the streets of Neo Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> uh, I see. New old Tokyo. Who comes up with these names? Maybe you should try asking the head writer. Anyway, let's check out your alibi. Where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios at 9. 
We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of murder? Some action hero. What the kids think? I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right. Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow! Nick! Let's go! I'm willing to bet ten bucks she asks for autographs. Try twenty. Okay, let's get moving. Studio Main Gate. October 16th, Global Studios Main Gate. Wow! So this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome! Aren't you excited? Hey! You there! Hello, you. It's been forever. You want in? You gotta go through me. Oh. Sorry. We're, um, lawyers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's great. I'm security. It's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. Gawkers? Gawkers! Sightseers! Tourists! I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. You today, something that... Oh boy, here she goes. There is no fucking way I'm gonna try to read all this. Um, Nick. Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. As long as you're willing to zip up, zip up the lip, zip the upper lip when you need to, you won't grow up to be like her. I don't know. It's possible. Hey, listen when you're being spoken to. Use today. I'm going to look around a bit first before I speak to you. The main entrance to the studio. There's a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. Mm-hmm. Looks like a studio van. You probably use it to carry around film equipment. Undoubtedly. Uh, let's look here. An overhead map of the studios. Looks awfully blank. Right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Hey! No touching! You look frightening in full HD. I mean, you always did with this expression, but holy shit. Are you sure you aren't possessed? The security guard station. A security lady must like junk food. There's a mound of it on the desk here, in there. I can see the computer that runs the, the security cameras. Okay, I think that's everything. Look at my badge. What's that? You giving that to me? Absolutely not. She wasn't impressed. Tell me about the studios. So what do you do here at the studios? What do you think, genius? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No! You were a star?! Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Wow. This place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Hammer. The victim, dummy! The evil magistrate! He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. I... I... disagree. I think a lot of people actually have fun playing villains, last I checked. 
Maybe someday I'll get to. Tell me about Will Powers. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little what ladies watching would lose their lunch. What an awfully con kind and considerate thing for you to say about your co-worker. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will's Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. How much is the rate of pay? Okay, tell me what you know about Mr. Hammer, then. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if only you knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in a Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? Probably. But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Reason for suspicion. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 in the afternoon to 5 when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is the, to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers. Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Powers' request. Hmm. I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns the pl this place, obviously. No need to look so tearful about it. All right. Back to the detention center we go. Hello. How was the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. You know, in retrospect, maybe we should have gotten a letter of request first before moving there. So, uh... Your alibi, again. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I'd never do that. Earlier, you said you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. The security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading toward the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible. I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business. I need every advantage I can get. I know. I'm sorry. But I swear to you, on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me? What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Um, about the security guard that main gave the suit to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Have you looked in a mirror? Yes. Actually, she said the same thing to me before. before. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the bigwigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. Gah, she's got some nerve. 
Do you think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Of course. Powers request. Document approving Will's po Will Powers request for an attorney. Just help those get me past that security lady. It fucking better or I'm going to freaking get a freaking pole and jump over that wall. Thank you for the letter of request. She allows a security lady and she should let you in. Move aside. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes, yes. I recognize the bold, childish scrawl. Powers is request given to security lady. I think he would entrust his fate to youths of such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here, towards the studios. No going to the right. That's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal, were my instructions. There's a pal at the end of those instructions. Sweet shoes. Sweet shoe must be nearby. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh. There are maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you! Would you please stop glaring at me like that? It makes me uncomfortable. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents! Please? Okay, we got the guide map. Guide map to Global Studios. What's that? You giving that to me? Absolutely not. And she already forgot what this was. Must be due to her age. Anyway, we're going outside Studio One. And that is a decapitated statue in a fallen over tree. Must be bad weather. October 16th, Studio One entrance. Sweet shoe! Hey! Aren't you that murderer from the other day? Ah! It's that confused detective! That really does sum him up. Especially, especially the confused part. Hey, pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's your fault. I literally don't care. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so? And are you sure that's not his default mannerisms? He seems like the type. To always be gloomily staring out a window while sipping tea. Um, so? Hey! If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Would you stop looking at me with those puppy dog eyes? Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Well, now you both, now both you and Edgeworth can share together in hurt feelings. Brothers in hurtfulness. Oh no, I, I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. What are you gonna do about it, sweet shoe? That's my endearing character trait. No, your endearing character trait is that you're a well-meaning well -meaning idiot. In the wrong line of work. But that's perfectly fine. I'd say he's a character, all right. Now, while you're just standing there looking all confused at me, I'm gonna go look around first. Hey, there's a camera here. That's the security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went where. There's a number plate on the camera. 
ST1307. That must be the camera ID number. I'm a little bushed. Maybe I'll take a short rest here. Hey, good idea, pal. Detective, aren't you on the case? Well, yeah, but... Hey, us detectives get tired of standing around too, pal. Then bring a chair of your own. Because I lay claim to that bench. The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. What kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Right, to Studio 1, left to Studio 2. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of... busted. Oh, uh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and it broke and broke the head and the head broke off. Like, how strong are we talking about? Hurricane levels? Or is that just a weak statue? It took that tree down fit too. There's a big welcome sign above the path. Yeah, apparently the studio's fallen on tough times. They've started letting people in on days they aren't filming. They make an extra bit of money by charging for admission. Huh. You sure know a lot about this place, detective. You know, you could always quit being a detective and work here. Yeah! What perfect timing. The studio mascot down for the count. Huh? Just what's that supposed to mean, pal? It means the mascot position is open for business. And you have the right personality for it, if you ask me. Entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. Hey, it's locked. Looks like you need a card key to get in. It makes sense that they would want to keep the non-employees out. Yeah. Plus, you never know what could be in there. I mean, you gotta have some basic security. Look at my badge! Detective, see this? This is my attorney's badge. Uh-huh. Don't you think it's a little sad when you have to explain what your badge means, pal? Real men show their PD badge, and that's that. I'll admit the design of my badge leaves a lot to be desired. Maybe you should just be a big L for lawyer? Hmm. I'm not so sure about that. I don't know. I think the scales of justice is a nice touch myself. Um, detective. Any ideas about this? Look, I don't got time to look at every little trinket you got, okay, pal? So... Let's talk about the investigation. Oh, whoops. Dropped my gamepad. So how is your investigation going, Detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Sure you can. I'm good at keeping secrets. Nick. Maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions? Right. So, Detective. Mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report. The latest version, please. Hmm. Right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. You better be. Jack's autopsy report. Time of death, October 15th at 2.30pm. Cause, pierced through the chest by a spear. Seems to be consistent with the facts so far. Reason for arrest. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no other, no one other than the victim in the studio. So there is an hour and a half difference between when Will Powers supposedly arrived and then murdered the victim there. So it kind of begs the question, what was going on during that hour and a half? According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. 
Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. You think I'm lying? Ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. Thanks a lot. Let's talk about an even more cheerful subject. The security lady. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my dad, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember that what Power said. She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? What evidence is that? What kind of evidence? Well, that, uh, photo. The photo of the steel samurai heading toward the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up there on the gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence! We're finished! Funny. For someone of a hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. You don't look so happy when you say that. <laughs> did I read that sentence right? I don't think I did. Um, we like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. Ha ha ha! Glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go! We've got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. You just sit here chuckling to yourself like an idiot. Uh huh. Okay. Never mind. I guess I. That's it for your chuckling. Main gate. Nick, look! A security lady's in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, but she's not a cop. Yeah, and they're soft enough to, that she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Hey, you! Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? Ugh. She's gonna make my life hard by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Uh, photographic proof. Why don't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, that? I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk to the, with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took that photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. Uh-huh, we'll get to the automatic camera in just a minute. Let's check out your reason for suspicion again. This guard station is in a central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before 1. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I've seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one that did it, I don't know who is. Maybe... it was you? <laughs> good one, Sonny. She thinks I was joking. Well, there's an image, this old lady wielding a spear against a grown man like Hammer. Mr. Hammer. Was the victim Mr. Hammer a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was, past tense. We already talked about this, though. Oh, yes, he was great as the bearded samurai. That, too, yes. He shone the brightest, back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate. It's a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard. And who can blame him? Didn't enjoy his role, huh? Interesting. On that camera. About the security camera. 
Oh yes, the camera. It was on Matic. I can tell when someone walks through that gate, see? Then it snaps a photo. Apparently it records the time when it takes a picture too. But don't bother, I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. You should probably make it a point to check it more than once a day, but I don't know. That's just, that's just me being on top of things, I guess. Can't give that to you, either. Okay, let's move to the employee area. October 16th, Global Studios employee area. And I see Mr. Powers' room over there. Nick! This is where they all do the behind-the-scenes stuff. Hey, look! There's Powers' dressing room. You know, it's broad daylight. Why is the light to his door on? I guess it looks like it is. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Okay. The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick. Let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find someone as a souvenir? What do you mean, find? That's theft, Maya. You never know. There might be something like... The samurai spear. We don't need a spear. Sure we can. Sure we do. We can use it to point at people in court. I think it'll leave a more lasting impression. And that's the murder weapon for crying out loud. You're no fun. There's a sign by the dressing room door. Will Powers. Must be neat to be the star and have your own room like this. A window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh. It's so... normal. I was expecting some cool theme snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. Wait! Look! Steel sa uh, Samurai Soda! Nick, try this! Ladies first. We got a gate right here. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick. You know a lot about the industry. Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? Wouldn't it make sense to have the storage room near the film studios themselves? Instead of carrying it all the way from here to the studios? But what do I know? I'm just a regular... I'm just a non-actor. The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Mmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. It's been a while since I've had steak, actually. You just had a burger. Burger would also be nice. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? So you're like a cow. You have multiple stomachs. Good to know. Must be a fey trait. Anyway, I see that there's an open grate here, but I'll get to that in just a minute. Close here. Come on, it's a step ladder. You mean I can't look at that? Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? Makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? Yeah, but cycling uphill isn't exactly easy. There's a half-finished backdrop for a stage here. Looks like a castle. Probably neo old Tokyo Castle. Most likely. The metal grate on the drain here has been taken off. It's a pretty big drain. A kid could fit through there, I bet. Yeah, if you snuck into that if you snuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay to pay at the gate. Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guest. Right! Huh? Hey, I'm not a kid! You sure act like one. Not that I'm not, not that I'm much better. The grate that used to cover the drain. It's a little bent. 
I don't think it would fit if I tried to put it back on. How unfortunate. Probably means that someone broke in since it's bent at all bent and all. Let's go to the dressing room. We can worry about bent grates later. October 16th, Global Studios dressing room. Ours is dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth. For his sake. Let's look around. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Oh! This is the wiki used in Samurai Boogie Woogie! What a name. Nick, try it this on! No. And how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? I, um, kinda like samurai movies. Kinda. Samurai Boogie Woogie. Sounds like it could be a fun time. They always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky. Just how I like it. Still waiting for you to shave your head, by the way. Liar. Guess that promise was was ultimately for nothing, huh? Hmm? This must be Powers' bag. Hey, don't open that. Look! An, an employee card key. That must be Powers'. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow. Card key! Card key for studio employees. Grants entry into Studio One. Well, now we can get into Studio One. I wonder what else is inside Powers' bag. Stop that! My partner, the thief in training. Yeah, I really like that the hourglass doesn't give you a check mark until everything you are thoroughly done examining everything. That means I don't have to just guess with everything I examine here in case there's something else here that will happen if I look at things. Very convenient. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. So that's three stomachs. How many stomachs does this girl have? At least three. If she has at least four, then she's probably the descendant of a cow. There's some regular suits in, in among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I'd say you were already wearing one myself. He's got you there. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess this is kind of, it is kind of dusty outside. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. Hmm. I think that's everything. Looks like it. Let's try going to Studio One now. I definitely wish that uh, they implemented the movement system from uh, Dual Destinies onward into uh, this uh, up in the, into this remake or update of the original trilogy, because then it would make moving to every accessible area very easy, where I could just access all the areas at once instead of having to go to certain areas in order to move on to uh, specific ones. Like, I mean, yeah, it's kind of like I'm actually traveling through an area, but at the same time. I definitely grew to appreciate the streamlined movement system from Dual Destinies onward. I don't know, I thought that was just a little quality of life improvement they could have introduced. But on the other hand, it does, I guess, preserve part of the original gameplay experience, so... I don't know, I guess it's not really bad to have this movement system here, I guess. Especially because I am used to it. The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. Where's this car key we borrowed from the dressing room will work? It opened. All right, we're in. She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. 
She doesn't think of it as a crime scene. She's thinking, hey, this is where the magic is made. What a sloppy police line. October Studio One. And there goes your happy smile. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape. It's so... So real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was a samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Alright, let's look around a bit. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course! That's the mountain, Neo Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not the old Tokyo, Nick. Neo Old Tokyo! Oh, right. Wow, look at that camera! Must cost, must, that must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. Hey, you! No touching that! Hello, Penny. Uh, um, sorry. My partner is kind of, you know. You know? No, I don't know. Uh, no, I don't know. Your pair are probably better off not knowing. Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm assistant here. I help with props and stuff. Moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. I wonder. Okay, so... I guess uh, anytime the, their name pops up, we get their profiles now. I think that's different from the previous versions. Where I gotta at least finish a, a certain line of a dialogue with them before I can get their profiles. So yeah, Penny Nichols. Assistant in Global Studio in charge of large props and, and set pieces. With a name like that, I think I can guess your salary. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit. But... Do what you can for WP, okay? He never heard a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry. Leave it to us. Will do. Wow, look at that camera. This costs a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. It's heavier than I thought. Okay, so... It's just the same dialogue as before. That was pointless. Step ladder! Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right. Sorry. This girl is out there. What the fuck are you talking about? It's a fucking step ladder. It's we're not talking about culture cultural assumptions. It's a ladder. You step on it. It's a foldable kind of thing, used for just only climbing up to a certain to a certain extent. Whereas a normal ladder, you climb from up, bottom to top, and vice versa. You're not supposed to go fully up or down a step ladder. Hey, look, that's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clapped at the start of filming. And look! A megaphone! A real-life megaphone! Ready, Nick? Action! This girl's more troubled than I thought. Well, remembered, she did spend most of her life in the mountains, so, I mean, she is a bit... sheltered. What's this? That's for reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. The assistant holds it during filming. Huh. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I want to be the director. Or maybe to steal Samurai. I think she's being serious. She just wants an excuse to wield a spear. Let a girl dream. The outline to where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His 
body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny. I expected a spear stabbing a spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. Well, the costume probably soaked it all up. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Undoubtedly. Look at my badge! Um, many thoughts about this? Sorry. I don't really want to think too much about what happened just yet. This? This? Or maybe this? Nope. At least I like how faster the menu is when it comes to me uh, presenting objects and then just skipping text and stuff. Definitely moves things along quite nicely. So, tell me about the day of the crime. Do you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes. I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area. That's where Powers' dressing room is, right? Yes, we were just there. Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Mm hmm. So, tell me about Will Powers. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No. I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private. What, do you, what kind of girl do you think I am? What kind? Well, maybe the snooping, maybe the snooping kind. N no, no. I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. I'm not forgetting confirmation of Powers' alibi. What do we, what do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue. A lead. Well, I don't know about that. But that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I had a feeling it was someone from... outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. So, tell us about sensing someone. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes. I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about that security lady? If someone else came to the studio, she must have seen them. Alright, let's go over and talk to her then. Still looking confused as ever, I see. Well, you just stay there. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Tell me about the assistant's claim. Spill the beans. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I want to. I want to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 
Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? As sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you're here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Eek! All right, you better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin! Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her! She's not even a full-time employee! All you youngs are like that nowadays. No, here we go again. She left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. You're right about that. Snoop time! The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick, maybe we can see that photo powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Yep! Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see. First, I need the date of the murder. It looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. 1 p.m. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number to the security camera. Um, I think it was ST1307. There. Entered. Hey, printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. Yep. That be the Steel Samurai, and he looks like he's and looks like he's limping. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something's printed on the back. Huh. October 5th, 2 p.m., photo number two. So, there is a 30 minute difference between the Steel Samurai arriving at Studio One and Hammer's, and Hammer's dying at 2.30. And it says photo number two, so where's photo number one? What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope, that's the only one on the computer. Powers' photo. Taken at the gate between the entrance and the studios, and shows the date and stuff. Hey, hey, Nick! Can't we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right. We'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait. Let's not. Why not? It's never a good... It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. You learned that lesson well too well. Oh, you learned that lesson quite hard in the last in the last step in the last turnabout, didn't you? Was that fucky? At least I would hope you did. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So are we done for the day? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it was... Maybe it really is that security lady? Well, maybe we can find out... in the next episode. I'm going to go ahead and cut things off here, and we can start our, fir our first trial day next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this latest episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. If you did and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all next time. Take care.